All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. So just announced. Look at this. Look how I'm on time. But yes, Rashid, we knew he's the first DLC character. We just had the battle pass, but finally they put out the gameplay trailer. So we get to see Rashid in action. You know, off the 90 second clip, we got Punk the God already claiming he's top tier. I don't know if we can make that judgment, but he definitely looks very, very unique and very, very tricky. In a game where offense is already super strong, dude's flying around the screen, double jumping. I don't know. Punk might be right. We're going to watch the trailer. Break it down, see what we can figure out, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I think, first of all, I think he looks way better than Five. That's my first impression. I don't like Five. I, don't, I thought he was corny in Five. He had the goofy, like, hook beard, the power scout and everything. He looks he looks a lot cooler, so there, that's already already a plus. Anyway, let's go. I like all... I know there was drama with Cammy because people were like, oh, I want to see her butt, but I think all of the, the redesigns in Five or, or Six are, are good. He's a streamer? I didn't know that, too. Who would watch this stream? Bro, I would turn the stream off already. What are you doing? Who puts on a stream? Like, you watch me just run around and jump off like abandoned buses and stuff? Bro, do something interesting. Get in a hot tub. All right, the design is definitely cool. You ready for this? He looks so much better, yeah. Jumping around, doing push-ups. Come on, bro. Go play a video game or something. The throw is cool. Air grab. That's cheap. And here we go. All right, we'll be running this, but it looks like right, command run. He's got the world. He's got that. Oh, a target combo now? You think that's plus? You think the elbow's plus? You think he's got Jerry plus elbow? I hope not. Double, yeah, double jumping attack. Shit. Level one to get out of the corner, kind of like Ken. Sorry, Lily. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. This is what real win god is like. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna, let's rewind that right now. But just look at this. Just watch what happens right here. So he does like a flip. Command jump. Jumps over. Turns his air mobility back. It was at a cross up. I don't know. Double jump combo. It looked like a Melty Blood character or something, dude. I summon you. So that's a level two. All right, that's his old V trigger, right? Now, is this going to work the same where he gets a mix-up off that? I don't know. Spinning mixture gets powered by the tornado again. Where'd that tornado come from? That, that tornado came on the cyclone? Oh, on hit, he gets that and he gets powered up. Jesus. Come here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Much cooler than the the Street Fighter Five, the goofy, the goofy leg kick. I hated that one. That seemed pretty cool. Who was that filming back here though? Who's this dude? He got shadow. It's not his bro. He's got shadow clones. Damn, he got 4K. He's like, he's like Maximilian. He got 4K footage. I can't afford that. Hope the camera got my good side. All right. All right, so yeah, watching that, I think if you play Street Fighter Six now and you see that, there, we'll, we'll, we'll go back and watch more, but I think there's zero. It almost looks like he's not a Street Fighter Six character. Compared to every other character in the game so far, it seems like, it's like, what the hell is going on? The amount of flexibility he has, the amount of movement he has right there, the gimmicks he's got with, uh, you know, the Tornado Pound of his special. Yeah, he's, no, he, he seems more advanced than a Strive character too. It's just like, it's so obvious watching that you're like holy crap this guy is cracked this character is cracked he's not legal at evo right but he's gonna be he's gonna be legal everywhere else and like all this stuff too we're seeing we haven't seen drive rush so like even with all the shenanigans all the movement we have like we haven't seen drive rush a lot of this stuff is two hits right the movements look cool too we don't see the slap chop though his classic crotch fear slap chop but a lot of the other moves are two hits so that's good in this game you know because drive impacts three hits so one two cancel on a special break armor Oh, boom. The grabs look really cool. I think his animation is really good, too. And the air grab is very strong. Air grab is always strong. So this this is a command run, right? Just like Ken. So command run. He goes low. Bonk. Low goes under fireballs. Just what we need as a guile player. More anti-fireball tools. And then command grab overhead. I don't know if it's overhead, but it crushes lows. I wonder what else he has. You got to assume command grab is probably just like, like a Ken input. Like down two kicks, down two punches or whatever. Big mixer, anti-air. This is, this looks just like a powered up spinning mixer? Or sorry, this. You think it's a new move or this is just like the heavy version of his uh his whirlwind? 
This is the God button, right? The Street Fighter V God button just like elbow, 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 elbow. So Jury now, this game doesn't have a lot of plus normals. That's kind of the big thing about Street Fighter 6. A lot of characters don't have plus normals, but Jury got Jury got her little plus normal. That stupid elbow. So like, please don't tell me Rashid is plus. I don't want to deal with that too on another character. I thought we left that behind. And then yeah, this this is good too, right? Level one. So level one, you know, it might not seem like like much, but just being able to swap out of the corner like that is strong. For positioning, you know, back to the wall, wake up level one, or I'm out of the corner. Now Lily, it's funny too. It's funny too how Lily is like the win. You know, usually like with, with like a game, a game like RPG, anime, anything. You figure like you have all the different like um, elements. Like Street Fighter had like Colin was like ice. You know, she's like ice girl. You got Dalsum is fire. Lily's already wind. She's the worst character in the game, and then they put Rashida looks top tier. Lily, she can't get any dub. It's like your win sucks. You're bad, and I'm now I I'm taking over the win. I still don't know what the hell happened there. I still don't know what happened in that sequence right there, but it definitely, this character seems a bit wild. The level two, so this, again, if you didn't play Street Fighter V, this was his old, um, his V-Trigger. What he does is he puts out this big ass tornado that acts as kind of like a shield, but also it's like a wall. So then he can use that to either get in or put up some mix up. So it hits as a combo here, which doesn't really matter. We need to see if he can use it like he did in five, because it was quite strong. And you see the you see the little tornado remains out there. So I guess whenever it hits, tornado stays out, it gets powered up. Nah, all right, I don't I don't know. I was thinking when I saw Punk, Punk put out that video within like 14 seconds after the trailer came out, and Punk was like, you know, Pog face, Rashid is top tier. I was like, oh Punk, he's just playing an algorithm, right? He's just saying stuff to get clicks. I think he's right. <laughs> His character does look pretty damn strong, unless he does like zero percent damage. Just like the flexibility he has, he looks he looks quite strong, which is good. I feel like I hope Capcom goes down the Arxis path of making DLC characters strong. Release him strong, nerf him later. Pay to win, baby. Pay to win. Pay to win. But anyway, there you go. He looks good. I I'm not interested in Rashid at all. I've never been a Rashid fan, but up until now, but the new design looks really cool. Yeah, you are. Oh, I want to. I forgot. Let's watch you in. Of course, they have the classic costumes. They're talking about when he looked like a nerd. This is an old costume. Come on, man. He got those goofy sandals. He got the goofy backpack. A power scouter. What's his beard? Look at that. He got the goofy hook beard and like a question mark. He looks much, much, much better now. But yeah, like I said, I was never interested in before because of the design. But his new design looks cool and the play style looks really good in six. So we'll see. I'll give him a try. I'll give him a try without a doubt. If he turns out to be broken. That's the new main, but until then we'll see. I'm just, I'm definitely stressed though. I'm definitely stressed as a Guile player. I'm already, I already have enough trouble dealing with all the rushdown in the game, and now we got another rushdown monster. I think I gotta just give up. I gotta give up the zoning game. I gotta join the rushdown. Anyway, there we go. Let me know what you think. Good stuff. Good stuff, Capcom. They, they haven't really dropped the ball yet. You know, we're waiting for them to make the big, the big blunder, but they've been nailing it since, since the beginning. DLC looks good. It gives me hope for, for my girl Aki. I hope when she comes out, she looks good too. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. He comes out on the 24th, so that's what? About a little bit less than three weeks from now. I'm sure everyone will give him a try. I'll give him a try. So hit that sub button if you want to see Rashid action when he drops. I'll see you next one. Peace!